Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series on this channel. For those of you who are just now finding me, hi, my name is Rantius. A little bit of a personal bit about me, I started this channel on February 3rd, 2024, and I mostly post Anno 1800 content at present. I currently have an Anno 1800 Expert Campaign series going on the channel, 150 plus episodes. I also have the Seasons of Silver and Eden Burning scenarios completed. All the links will be in the description if you'd like to check it out. I respond back to everyone's comments, so if you leave a comment on this video, and if you choose to look at the other videos, regardless of which one it is, I have YouTube Studio constantly open. I will respond back to you as quickly as I can. No comment has been left unanswered, and there are many people that will back me up on that statement. If this is a place that you feel like you can vibe with, you enjoy just being entertained by my constant fumbling, random moments, and mostly my ranting, because that, <laughs> that tends to happen, Feel free to leave a like on the video if you want to take that extra step and subscribe to the channel. Do know that I will be quite penetrated by your kindness. Yeah, I, I adopted that statement as for this channel, 100%. Additionally, I do want to mention this at the beginning. I do throw in a little bit of a roleplay element to my gameplays because I, I'm a storyteller at heart and I really like to continue that going forward. If that's something that you're interested in, then by all means we do it i don't like heavily incorporate it i just throw like little bits and pieces in here if you're not a big role play individual that's totally fine it's still going to be primarily based on the game anyway so without further ado let's jump into pride and peddlers i've never done this one before i've heard some stuff about it but i'm the type of person that kind of likes to just jump in things and learn as i go okay so we're gonna figure this out let's get into it Dear Madame, ever since you arrived in the New World, your name has become a synonym for exquisite taste. It is no secret that you deal in some of our greatest treasures. While this practice is perfectly legal, we regret that our people were unable to place a bid for what is rightfully theirs. We, the Artista Collective, want to encourage the repatriation of these objects and hope to enlist your help in this matter, Rather than intrude on your time uninvited, we have an offer to make, one that is well suited to your talents as a trader. We await your presence at the Atelier Insolito, graciously hosted by the Yaosca Research Center. Respectfully, the Artista Collective. Okay, so we have our basic bronze, silver, and gold objectives. And I want to imagine that those are building skins they look like for the museum. So I'm, I'm just going to go with that. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. I'll figure it out in time. <laughs> so this is your offer. Empty frames and painted promises. A choice of our future artworks, and a chance, madame, to do some good in the world. Ruining my reputation, risking my assets to help you outtrade my richest customers? Please, madame. These people are thieves. There's no end to what they will take, with their cannons and coins and their clever little deals. We've left them unchallenged, and this is what we've come to. A Mesoan god, used as Hunt's paperweight. A Mesoan god? Such a sight has never graced my Emporio. Perhaps I could do with a challenge. One last wager. One more chance to feel the wind in my hair. Alrighty. Well, at least we have a great Eastern. I... That's pretty good. The Great Steam Clipper. That that's what it's called. So does that mean I can actually build more of these? No shot. We are proud to have you at the helm, madam. I know you will put these scoundrels in their place. Okay, well, you you sure. For now, I shall greet them with a smile and offer them my wares. It would be rude not to let them contribute to their own demise. Okay, so these are the NPCs we trade with. Are these all the islands? Why are they so far away? 
Yauska's here? So how how the heck did she detach this from, from La Zeltuna? What the hell? What happened here? This is where the dam is. I think she's riding a lion turtle. I'm just putting that out there. Okay, so we have this island over here. Don't like it. We have this other island that's pretty spacious. I'm kind of digging this one. What, what about you? This one has a lot of potential just because it's it's just flat. It has nothing else. Uh, this one looks like a wizard's cap. I, I think I'm going to go with this one. I kind of like this one. Okay, what does he want? Rest assured, madame, that no one but you is allowed to settle on these islands. Oh, God bless. Okay. The locals have had quite enough of the rest. They'll see to it that you are left in peace. Got it. So who the heck is here? Stumbling into the lion's jaws. I love this man. Okay, listen. I actually... I find him hilarious. Okay, I like Von Machik. Governed as they think they oh, okay. The admiral's that here as well. Good to know. Ew. Okay, so... Attention, we need to head down here, and I guess we we're just going to cut through. Are there pirates around here? We might have to pay attention a little bit. I kind of dig into the harbor area, really. So, we have three harbors in here. I don't think I want to, like, get anything on that side. Barking. Let's just bring it over to here. Do all of our ships have something in it? Okay, so... Yes, they do. And the way we colonize, I guess, is with also having those aluminum profiles? Interesting. Alright, so what does Yasuke even have? Did she ever, like, get this whole area fixed? Nope. She legitimately just grabbed her little section and hauled it over here. That's so funny. Go look at the Eden Burning one. That This is legitimately it, even with this little, little stump over here. I hope I can offer something useful. You're gonna pay 646 coins for coffee? No way. I wouldn't spend that much on coffee. I better be, like, have golden and whatnot. Okay, his stuff, it, it makes sense. Okay, that that's fine. He has offers here. That's a lot for Cognac. Holy crap. 2.5k. 7. What? 7.2k for fur coats? But you have fuel. Uh, fuel, on the other hand, is cheap. What do you have? Still did not have? Okay, you have fertilizer, you have fuel, <laughs> you have shampoo for 1.3 thousand, only 1.4, and pocket watches, okay, that I, I get that one, I, I get that one. Okay, what, what do you have? Canned food, and you're overpricing this to high hell. 1,000 coins? Biscuits are 2.6? Get out of here, man, this is highway robbery. Oh, wait a minute, there's another island over here. Does that- oh, hold on, does this one have oil? Yeah, this one has 15 oil. Yeah, I'm gonna fast-forward this so we can actually get our ships over here. It seems like there are a ton of little islands just dotted around here. We have to send one of our ships to go and find everything. So there's another island here, too. Oh, whoa. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's a very big island, actually. Why am I kind of digging it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have coffee here. You have pearls and... Er no, I, got, I gotta get the coffee. I, ha I have a feeling like coffee is actually gonna be really important for some reason, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that one. But I will colonize that middle island. That thing is just crazy good. There's so much oil here. There's so many resources. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'll probably get another good settlement. If it's relatively the same with the... Um, the different tier of citizens then we might actually be in for a good time okay what are all these there are a whole bunch of little pickups around here you know i'm actually happy we're capable of using these little small ships may not be the optimal strat to have brought all of our stuff down here but regardless we'll figure it out in time okay so I really hope I can build more of these. That would make Attention sense. For the Admiral. I'm going to change it to the Nautilus. I, I've never actually <laughs> used this skin before, but we're going to try it out now. All right. So are reporting in. let's move these guys away. Let's just use the Endeavor, which is our flagship, to get one of these Don't harbor areas in. built up. Why do we have so many just popping up? Yeah, okay. Now that makes sense. 
Okay, let's go ahead and build this thing. How very rusty. Flagship ready for order. You will know where to find us. You know what? I'm just gonna colonize this island from now. I I really like this one. A warden it plotted. And because we don't have anything in this one left, I'm gonna go ahead around here and start collecting these items. I'll do it individually. Just so I can see what's what. Sail to Palmo's airfield. Where the heck is that? There's an airfield in here? What the heck? Okay, we'll figure that out anyway. So we need to sort our settlement out, and we have the typical stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get a road connection. Is that a mine here? No, it's just baiting me that that's a mine, but this is indeed a mine. No way. Okay. It has limits. It has limits. And we'll get another one to this mine right over here. I think I'll start the town over on this side. So I'll just get a long road connection going over here. Let's get a blueprint. Actually, yeah, let's let's figure this out. Let's get a marketplace over here, and then we're gonna start with the typical setup of getting our homes placed. Do something like this. It looks very static, and I'm typically not the type of person to like this particular building style, but it is what it is. We have to figure this stuff out immediately. We'll get some road connections going here. It didn't want to cooperate with me. Thank you. And bring this down here and loop it around. Great. So we're going to start off with the marketplace as always, and we'll get these you two blocks built a up. New milestone. Okay, the people supporting our cause are volunteers. You will not be gaining income from covering the most basic needs. Are you kidding me? So what? They're just going to live here scot-free? What the heck did you pick up? Okay, cargo quest item. All right. Where the heck is our airfield? That's the wrong one. Coordinates plotted. Yeah, okay. I I don't I don't care. So, I'm going to grab this little ship. I'm going to put all that timber in here because I need to start with like some form of timber production. I don't know where to begin. Maybe all the way back here, actually. That's a good spot where it's off the beaten path and I won't ever have to move it. Minus 20 already. For you hate to see it. Put that in here. Let's get our small warehouse going. We'll put it like right over here and i'm crazy because i'm gonna need to have the banners facing the right there's the flags actually yeah the flags facing the right direction we'll put two of these so they're all gonna have maintenance costs right oh that's gonna be terrible okay and let's get these ones set up let's go ahead and upgrade that upgrade these things we're also gonna need some of the sawmills so we're just gonna place those down from now but we're going to have to get a couple more of these homes built up. I think we can do all that. Yeah, that should be fine. New buildings have been unlocked. Okay, so we have... Oh, wait a minute. So this the is... Warehouse like... awaits, madam. Our people are ready to load the boats. <laughs> okay, oh, that's interesting. So the outhouse is actually what we're going to be using for fertilizer. More glamorous than a cargo steamer, don't you think? Okay, really? Okay, earn enough money through trading. We need 600,000. We need to also attract 600 of bears. Okay, so what do we Attention want here? For the Admiral. Why are we going here? Is it does it cost to put this thing down? Yeah, okay, it costs 10,000. Ready okay. for your delivery? What do you mean? You see, airmail is the way forward. No, it's not. New orders? It's really not. Okay, News uh from home? I don't cause you much grief, but I can say in all honesty, I've never crossed my mind to take an idol that you sent for me. Okay, no, the truth, I, being the fool that I am, did go to prosperity, but upon reaching it, was tied up in the shipping of the old world. Okay, well, let's think of this. If Hunt has it, it's within our reach. If that's okay. Oh, okay, so this... Uh, just a receipt. Yeah, it's just a receipt. Yep, there we go. Sales. We need to get some of the sawmills up, too, because that's important. Get these two going. How many does it need for each? We need 20 of these guys. So we'll start those. And right now, it seems to be a banana boon. 
So affected goods, 75%. We want to try to get to work on that. I want to sanction off a spot for my farm fields. If that's going to be the case. And I think this spot going forward is actually not going to be a bad one. Because we're kind of close to the oil fields for the later usage. Go ahead and put down the storehouse right over there. We're going to also need to get a banana plantation going. We can get that immediately? No, we can't. 128 fields. Okay. Well, let's put down two of them because apparently there's a boon for this going on right now. We need some more timber. Why don't I just grab the stuff oh, that's in here? Crying. The Snapdragon is useless. Let's take you over here and figure out what we can grab. Where's the Nautilus? Oh, there it is. Flagship at your service. Just gonna call it the Nautilus from now on. Every single flagship I've had in this game is named the Endeavor, and I can't stand it. I'm too lazy to change this name either. Okay, so we have these things missing Never fertility. Had those here. Really? Okay, that's that's fantastic. I should have honestly uh, seen that before. <laughs> Go victim to one of the classic blunders. So you actually have bananas over here. Got it. So I should have colonized this island. Okay, so we're gonna have to get a population going here as well. That's fine. Might as well do it anyway. You could probably start the town like in the back here. We're gonna have to bring some resources. Being mostly timber, right? So I need those things in here. Yeah, I can grab it. Just get those. We'll bring the rest over to our second island. Room to maneuver. And I don't want to buy anything. I want to just see if I can try to make it myself. That'll be fantastic. So that means that we shouldn't actually have that island as our main one. We should have this one as the main one. Okay. So that means I'm going to have to start this all over again. See, this is the whole thing. You live and you learn. Never be afraid to make mistakes. Understand what you did wrong and learn from it. In this situation, I didn't see the actual fertilities there <laughs> lacking something crucial. Being bananas. But it's okay, I don't think this is a time scenario really. And this island, I, I, I was eyeballing it anyway. I, I like this one more than the other one. Okay, so we have all this set up. We're going to have to get the timber production going up again. I'll probably just put it in the front here. So we'll have one, two, three, and then four. Yeah, that should be fine. This might actually work a little bit better, considering how we're closer to the main harbor area to begin with. So we'll have a couple of sawmills placed right over here. We'll get that situated in a second. We're going to wait for my Great Eastern to show up. So what else did you pick up? You got another cargo. Oop, I didn't want to throw you over. Oh, we got sugar cane. We also got cacao. Okay, so that's what that's all about. Let's go over here. Oh, you're heading over there. Let's take our flagship over to this other one. Let's see what this is all about. I know every knot in every plank. Do you? That's just being obsessive. And weird, quite frankly. Ready for assignment. Let's see what other islands are out here. We need to figure out the lay of the land. Okay, where is the next island? Right over here? Okay, so we have plantains, we have cotton, pearls, coffee, tobacco, and orchids here. The islands are pretty big. I I'm liking that. And this is kind of right next to our initial starting island, I say in air quotes. I might go ahead and change some of the names because I know I'm going to butcher saying it. Okay, what did you find? Stations. Whoa! Affects the calamari fishery? Oh, well, look at the maintenance cost. It, the building now processes iron. Extra goods. We gained some canned food. Hey, hunt! I don't need to buy your canned food anymore. Because I can just passively get it with the legendary item. Suck it. 
get over here. Did I'm gonna take this immediately to our new harbor area. Hey, look at this. Is there anything on this island? Nope. Okay, what do we see here? That's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. I am Isabel Sarmento. Hey! Do not stand between me and my country's freedom. Yo, we're on the same side here. We join on one condition. That, like you, we are free to write our own history. Okay, so a little extra about me. I'm the warmonger of the Anno community, okay? I see that she wants incendiary grenades. And I get this evil smirk on my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna find a way to make those. Attention for the Admiral. Okay, did you arrive yet? Not quite yet, but we will get there in time. New island's been discovered. Which one? Okay. You look like a very, very big boy. A lot of interesting stuff. Sugarcane, corn, cacao, saltpeter, herbs, and orchids. So we're definitely going to have to utilize the latter, right? Oh, uh, you're not that... Well, I could still use it. Okay, so you head over here. Sales. You arrived finally, so let's put that stuff in here. And we're gonna have to be very careful first about making this town. How many do we need for one of these? I think we should be okay, actually. Let's get two of them going. Because we're just gonna be using our harbor area as the, uh, as the place to put up all our stuff. We're not gonna put a warehouse there quite yet. I'm going to go ahead and get these two going as well. New orders. Can you go back and get me some more of this? Actually, what's the fear doing? The fear is doing nothing out here, actually. Let's take it to Dorada. find some more stuff. The argument needs to head back over here. So now I'm kind of kicking myself that I put this thing over here. Okay, so they're only going to accept our own ships. I can, I can live with that. I can live with that, actually. So, I might as well just kind of artificially inflate the population I've here. Been through worse. Some of these goods are very hard to come by, but with the royal embargoes and general turmoil in the world, call it an opportunity for a wise to make something on the side. Oh, black market goods. Okay. How the heck is a canned food a black market good? They're going to give us some money for it. Biscuits, they'll definitely give us money for it. And ugh, lemonade. Okay, I, I'm not a big fan of lemonade. I'm, I, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. But I find that this whole outhouse mechanic is hilarious. That's how we're actually gonna be producing what we need for our our cash crops, as it were. New buildings have been unlocked. Fantastic. How are we doing over here? I think we can... Oh, are you too far away? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well... I was going to have to put another one of these here anyway at some point, so we'll just put that there. Get that going. And I will build, like, another block if I can. Yeah, there we go. That way I can start actually producing some timber here, because that's also important. Uh, we're going to put this in here immediately. And what I will actually do is upgrade these roads... So they can work a little bit faster just from the start. And transporting. This thing should be a lot faster. I really hope I can make more of those. Alright, we found this little... Whoa! Okay, that, that's pretty solid. Is there anything else up here? I can't see anything, really. There's probably some stuff back here. Yeah. Okay, Snapdragon... We should probably figure out where we want those farm fields here then, because this is what's going to be really important. I'm going to actually, there is a deposit right here. I'm going to make a long line right here. Okay. And we're going to blueprint this to start. And this is where we're going to put the plantations. So we're going to just get a whole section of these. 130. Okay. It's gonna copy. When I write mm. of jornaleros, I think of my papa toiling under the sun. He never said what his role in the movement was, but he always spoke highly of Simon Sarmento. 
He did? Okay. Cool. That was good to know. New buildings have been unlocked. Okay, so now we also have access to the orchards. We also have access to the ponchos, sails, rum, all that good stuff. So it's a typical setup, right? They are going to want the chapel. Okay, it's part of the happiness thing. So again, not going to give us anything for this. Oh my god, can I employ that pirate workforce again? I want to do it. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm, I'm gonna keep that. Can I change you? I can. I'll make this one. Nice. And I want to start with this whole outhouse thing. So that's to be a better way of doing this. Like, I, I'll, honestly, you have to like probably put it in the middle here somewhere. Put that over here. Let's get an outhouse going right over here. Let's build that bad boy up. You know. Come to watch. <laughs> No! I don't want to watch! <laughs> that was a lot funnier than it should have been. Oh, that's so... Okay, don't look at me anymore, man. I can't take it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, that caught me so off guard. Build another one of these. We need some a more time. Broke out. Oh, come on! Where? You reach a new milestone. Outstanding. In. It's already starting. My bad luck is already starting. We don't need all this uh, all this stuff over here either. I'm just gonna take it from now. There's no need. Bring it over Carry here. About. Okay, this one's going over here. What's down here? Didn't I tell you to go here? Oh no, I told you to get over here. Coordinates plotted. I have a couple more, so can I go ahead? How much does this require? It's still just the 10? All right. Yeah, I I have a feeling that you have to sell the items that are currently up here. And that's how you make a lot of money. So that's something similar to the, like what I did with our NO1800 campaign series. I started selling soap to begin with and then a whole bunch of guns. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I did, in that order. Okay, so we have a small Looking island here with a lot of additional goods. There seems to be one more in the back over there. And, you know, thank the gods that we can actually colonize these things by ourselves and no one else is going to buy for them. Because if I had to go up against these particular guys right now... Well, hello. I associate the boats with treasure. Hey, can I have that ship? No? Okay, got it. All right. Heard you loud and clear. Okay, we're going to build this one. We're going to start off with this one farm field. And we can have the fertilizer silo. So how much are we actually... <laughs> how much is actually coming in with this? A decent amount, I guess? Okay, so the more densely populated the location is, the more we get. Got it. So... Getting more of these is going to be very important. Can they overlap the radius? You can't overlap radius? Dude, I'm I'm worrying about overlapping radius of an outhouse. What is wrong with me? Well, I need to build more. That's for certain. Wait for that other ship to come in. It's an interesting scenario so far. I might just focus on the tractor barns, honestly. That might be a little bit better. Okay, so the next thing is going to be the fish oil factory. We all know and love that one. What's this last island all about? Uh, it's populating. It's not bad. It has some helium pockets in there, and we can definitely Stations. use that. So I think I found all the of the... has been vanquished. Oh. Wonderful. I think I found all of the islands, so I'm just going to regroup oh, with all of my ships back over here. Once the Endeavor is also back, then we can just uh, consolidate our position and figure out what we need to do. I'm bringing all those resources over here, uh, mostly because this island definitely seems to be like the one to go to for our initial build and see what happens after that. And also having the additional like bricks to get our stuff working a little bit faster is going to be fantastic. 
But I have to also be mindful of the... Uh, the goods consumptions and all that stuff. Because they're not giving us money. They're, they're not giving us anything. The income per household's going to remain at zero for a long time. Okay, the fish oil factories... I might actually put them on the other side. Like right over here. In this corner. Why don't I just do something like this? I'll put them offshore. Nope, not... No, no. Wait, wait, wait. This is an expert. There we go. Three, four. We're going to have to have a road go through them. Hopefully, that's close enough for a warehouse to be placed down. I can put it, like, right here. That way I can consolidate the space. So you'll make it? Yeah, great. Wonderful. And then the road also goes to this spot, so we can actually bring it down to here and link that up. Love it when a plant comes together. So we're getting our bananas in right now. We also need to get these going very quickly. Let's go ahead and build that. And we'll build our first fish oil factory. Luckily, there isn't anything with regards to pollution over here or vulgarity. Otherwise, that was just going to bother me. New orders. Okay, a whole bunch of construction materials are put in, and let's continue on. Let's get the town built up in the time we have remaining. Let's just loop that around, actually. Oops. There we go. I can't put banners here! Oh no, this is gonna suck. I can't put any banners down here. Let's fix these guys while we're at it. And uh, definitely give him the outhouse. So, like, where would I want to put this for the best radius? But, I mean, it's it's probably going to be a lot faster when they actually have their other stuff coming in. You reached a new milestone. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's get another one of these fish oil factories going. And then I'm also going to get a fried plantain kitchen. I might just put them all in this corner. So we have two, and they're all one to one, right? 30, 30, 30, yep. That should be fine. Okay, so we got our first stuff done. Minor blunder with going to that other island to start, but right now that's also making some pretty decent strides on timber, and we can probably get to work on additional items when they actually become available. There's enough room over here, so... Oil is going to be really good to probably try to export later. Uh, we have cotton fertility over here, so we can actually start on the sails over here on this island. And then on this one is where we're going to be setting up our initial home base. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of uh, the Pride and Peddlers. I was almost about to say Eden Burning. I'm just too stuck in that mentality. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please consider like, comments, and subscribing, hitting that bell button, sharing it with your friends. Help me grow the channel. As always, I really appreciate everyone's comments and support, and I will catch you on the next episode, my Rantins.